Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss why do we need vectors and scalar vs vector fields. So let's start with the scalar. So you know that scalar in some sense it's a number. It's it's a number. It's just another way of saying a number is scalar. And why do we need scalar? Why do we need numbers? How do we start with numbers? We use numbers first by count. So we like one, two, three. So we have like I have like two apple or six chairs in this room or some girl she has like two and a half apples oh no or two and a half pies and scalar for example we have some scalar c and what the scalar c is telling us it's telling us about some quantity and one of the way how we can apply scalars to real world problems is for example if you have the cost of california and you want to create the map of the temperature on this coast. So what you're gonna do, for each point in your map, on your space, you're gonna indicate some temperature, for example, like 15 Celsius, like 20 Celsius, 17 Celsius, 18 Celsius, 17 Celsius. So you can see, by using scalars, <coughs> we can create a scalar field. Basically, we take in some space and create some function which for each point gonna tell us temperature. So this one is scalar field. But we know that real world problems are they are way more complicated. And we need more advanced structures to describe what is going on uh, in our world. And who's gonna help us? Vector's gonna help us. And what is a vector? What is a vector A? But, but let's first rewrite our scalar. We can write scalar as parenthesis C. In some sense, you can think about scalar as one dimensional vector. But in this example, vector A, let's say it has two components, A1 and A2. And the purpose of the vector, you can see we got vector from our scalar just by adding one more component. And when we add one more component, we can encode more information by using vectors. Why? Because, for example, we have a uh, two coordinate system x, y, and let's say this is our vector a. And what does component mean? It means a1, a2, the projection corresponding to x axis a1, and projection onto y axis is a2. And what Type of two quantities do we have? First, we can we have a quantity as just a, no. What kind of information we can encode? We have first quantity, which is uh, the length of our vector, uh, which is a one square plus a two square. But another information that we can have vectors are showing us direction. So, for example, imagine like you want to create another model, and you want to create the model how the water uh, goes in the river. And then a vector is going to be more advanced. Why? Because you can assign each point on your model, uh, on your space, a vector. And vector, what is going to show you? Uh, the direction of the vector is going to show you the direction of the flow. But the length of the vector is going to show you the speed of the water. And in this case, we can see that vectors are more useful of uh, describing real world situation and in this case it's called uh, vector field so the point is we need vectors why because by using vectors we can encode more information and this is really really important and i think we're done for today but in the next video i want to discuss matrices and we know if we have matrices we can have even more dimension so the question is what kind of information we can encode by using a matrix? Thank you.